Hi, Ricky here from Tech Talk. Today we're having a look at the Vodafone Smart Prime 6. And today this is my overview video. So I've had this device now for about two weeks. I've used it on a day-to-day -day basis with some things that I've done on YouTube. I've checked Twitter out, I've checked Facebook out. I've had a quick web browse. I've watched a film on here. And not film as such, a TV series. I've checked out some trailers. I've used the phone as much as I could. I do have an iPhone, so it's a bit different getting used to Android. I do prefer Android 5.0 so much compared to Jelly Bean and the others. With this Android 5.0, you've got better notifications, you've got better UI. I just think it's so much better, especially on the Vodafone Prime 6 here. It doesn't have a massive overlay such as Touch with UI with Samsung and Sony Xperia's Xperia UI as well. So it's just near enough pure Android, but what you'll get on a Google Nexus. So the phone itself is a five inch display, HD display phone. So it's really good, 720p HD display. Got an LED notification there. So that's letting us know that we do have a notification. So if we flip down here, you can see my notifications. You can open them or you can dismiss them like so. So that's really good to see. Pulling two fingers down will take you into your widget area so we can change our Wi-Fi, change our brightness. We've got a brightness way down low here because it doesn't work too good. So you've still got an LED notification there, so it must be something that we need to update, I think, down here, Vodafone update. So we are running on the Vodafone network here, and it's been really good. My area is not the best for Vodafone, but I do get some 4G. And 4G speeds, I have got up to about 50 meg downloads. So that's really good. But this phone can handle 150 meg on the 4G network here in the UK. So we've got a live wallpaper here, so that's always changing. You've got our applications. If you want to change this, you touch and hold, and this will change where you can change your wallpaper, and you can add a widget. So if we click to add a widget here, you can... Okay, so our widget area here, we can add widgets. I'm going to add bookmarks. So what I do is I take bookmarks, place it on here, and then I can jump straight into my bookmarks and see which websites I want to jump on there, and that's great for that. So touch and hold in, you can change your wallpaper. So we can jump into wallpapers like this one so sets wallpaper there and there we go it's changed and it sort of like flows along as well which is really good to see i really do like that so you've got your three compassive touch buttons you've got your back button you've got your home button where the press will take you to google now you can show the weather here in the uk it's not the best at the moment then we also press home to go back home and then you have your menu button where you can dismiss applications one by one or dismiss all. So it's nice and simple to use. So if we just power the device. So on the side here, you can see our sleep wake button, our volume rockers and a little grip there to get the case off. On behind here is where you'll find a micro SD port, which can take up 64 gigabytes of storage. On the back, you find an eight megapixel autofocus and LED flash. A Vodafone symbol as Vodafone did make this phone and the speaker which is down facing but it sounds really great. On the bottom you're going to find your micro USB port there for charging and use this as a mass storage device and you'll find a little microphone. On the top you're going to find a 3.5 jack and a microphone as well so it sounds really good. Okay so our home screen here you can jump into things you can jump into a phone call you can jump into a camera you can unlock or you can even open your notification here if you so wish. Also, it's simply gonna slide up. So I really have enjoyed reviewing this phone. I hope you enjoy watching all the videos. All links will be in descriptions. We've done unboxings, we've done boot tests, we've done speed tests, we've done sound tests on this phone. Thanks always for watching. Please leave a like down in the video, comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.